Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Keddington News update for October. Already, I hear you say, well yes, because there's something coming up in October that I didn't get to tell you about in the last episode, so I'm doing this one a little early so I can tell you about it. But first, what Keddington's been up to so far this October, and that takes us to the Barnardis in Arms for live music from Steve Boyce. Steve Boyce has played the arms before, and words obviously got round about how good he is, because the back bar was pretty darn full, and with music like this, you can see why. <laughs> online at steveboyce.co.uk but I suspect given the crowd is pulling you'll probably find him back at the arms sooner or later just keep watching this channel to find out when 
that's October so far. But what's still to come? Well, it's the return of the Keddington Film Club, another great season of films that's just been announced for the silver screen at Keddington Community Centre. Starting on Saturday the 21st of October with Philippa Lothorpe's 2016 version of Swallows and Amazon. I promise I'll look after everybody. She's a beauty, isn't she? Arthur Vanson's classic tale of Lakebound childhood adventure, set amid some beautiful scenery. The season continues on November the 24th with Disney's live action remake of the groundbreaking 1991 animation Beauty and the Beast. You wish to take your father's place? Come into the light. Where was I? Not sure anyone can replace Angela Lansbury, or indeed why they would try to. This film works very hard to be as visually groundbreaking for the 21st century as the original was for the 20th. The film club takes a break over the busy December period, but it has two films in January, the first of which will be, if anything, an even richer dose of the visually stunning on Saturday, January the 6th, in the form of Cloud Atlas. Yesterday, my life was headed in one direction. Today, it is headed in another. This film comes from Lana and Lily Wachowski, creators of the Matrix trilogy, and again mixes beautiful and fantastic visuals and action with a solid dose of philosophy. All this spanning past, present, and future, and what links them. And it's brought to life by the likes of Tom Hanks, Halle Berry and Jim Broadband and an impressive ensemble cast besides. Later, on the 26th of January, there will be Moonlight. Barry Jenkins' triple Oscar winning chronicle of the childhood, adolescence and early adulthood of a young gay African American growing up in the rough parts of Miami. But let's face it, by the time you get to February, it's normal to want something to cheer up a cold and miserable time of the year. So, Keddington Film Club brings you La La Land. 2016's hit musical of the year, and that will be Saturday the 17th of February, which is the weekend after Valentine's Day, so handily romantic too. The season rounds off on March 16th, with the time of their lives, starring Joan Collins and Pauline Collins. I've never met a film star before. British film director Jerry. Stanley. No relation. It's a coming of age tale. It's just that the age happens to be pensionable. A proper heartwarming comedy to wrap up the season with a smile. All the films in the season begin at 7:30 p.m. and the doors of Keddington Community Centre open at 7. Membership of the Keddington Film Club is just £8. You will need to be a member of the Keddington Community Association, but that's just an extra £2 and you can get that at the same time, if you're not already a member via another organisation. That will get you, and a plus one, into all the films in the season. You can become a member by contacting Steve Brown, or indeed by coming down on the first night. We seem to have drifted well into next year, but we have other events far sooner. Still to come in October, it's the Halloween party at the Barnardiston Arms. It's also their one year anniversary, and for full details, check out the last episode. Coming up in November, Keddington has a car boot sale on the Great Meadow. And that will be on November the 5th from 1.30 till 4pm. There will be teas and coffees available in the community centre and if you'd like a pitch or a table in the community centre, contact Mel James before 4pm on Thursday the 2nd of November and pay just £6. After that, tables and pitches will still be available but they will be £8 from that point onwards. Mel's number is on posters for this event around the village and he can normally be found in person at the Keddington Community Cafe, and that's every Thursday afternoon from 2 till 4. Saturday the 11th brings an interesting event to Keddington Library, a musical evening with 
Ian Davidson. Classical musician Ian Davidson will be interviewed by a member of the Friends of Keddington Library. Further details can be had from Keddington Library as they become available. Sunday the 12th is Remembrance Sunday. As normal, there will be a parade from the Barnardist in Arms to the War Memorial in the grounds of Keddington Church. The parade normally sets off at around half past ten in the morning. Once the parade has arrived at the War Memorial, there will be a short service of remembrance with wreaths laid and a silence. There will then be a full service inside the church. Following the service, the Legion Hall will be open with teas, cakes and a licensed bar. There's more live music at the Barnardiston Arms on Saturday the 20th of November. This time it's Ted Jevons and he sounds like this. starts at around 8 p.m. in the back room and entry is free and that's it for November but before I go I should just mention that tickets for this year's Ketton Players pantomime will go on sale at some point in November it's Rapunzel this year so keep an eye out and we'll be back before then and if you want to catch that then you could subscribe to this very YouTube channel. If you're on our YouTube page there will be a button somewhere. The last time I looked it was in that direction. Alternatively you could go to www.keddingtonnews.co.uk and whenever we put a video up it appears there as soon as it appears anywhere else. Alternatively you could follow the link from that page to my Facebook page, friend me there and then well I always mention there whenever a new video goes up. So three options to catch us next time and until then, cheerio. Apparently.
that you want to leave me. But you can't see the thing of your mind. Don't take my hand. Let me guide you through the perfect way. Thank you.